guys, welcome back to the channel. If you don't remember who I am, my name's Paul. And today, we're going to be looking at the dumbbell shoulder press as part of the exercise of the week. As per the usual, we're going to go through the four steps. So I'll give the reasoning sort of behind why you should do this exercise, a couple of muscles that are targeted. Then we'll go through the demo, followed by a few tips. And then today, I'll give you one variation. So let's talk about the dumbbell shoulder press. This is a very, uh, again, simple exercise. And obviously, like we're doing this with dumbbells, but really, you can do it anywhere. You can do it with anything. You can do it with milk cartons. You can do it with those right with some of those rice containers. Really, you can do it anywhere, anytime. You can do it seated, standing, on your bed, you know, at a gym. So that's why we like this exercise, and it's one that, again, like the push-up, it targets multiple muscles of our shoulder area. Uh, but in particular, this one will target some of our rotator cuff muscles. If you don't know what they are, I suggest you look them up because there's four major ones that help out and they all help with movement of the shoulder. On top of the rotator cuff, they also manage to target our deltoids uh, as well as sometimes your triceps and your biceps. So one of the big benefits uh, about this exercise, and this doesn't just apply for the athletes here, this can also apply to the general population. A shoulder press, whether it be dumbbell, barbell, carton of milk, rice containers, really they're very like functional movement. So what I mean by that is, let's take for example, let's say you're a bookkeeper and you need to put your books up on the shelf. As you can see what I've just done there, that's a prime example of a shoulder press. If you think about it, getting books, stacking them up on the top bookshelf. Let's say you are renovating your backyard, which is something I know a lot of people are doing uh, during this time. So let's say you've got to go up, you've got a couple of tools that you've got up on the top shelf, got to reach up, pick them up, bring them back down. As you can see, that is, uh, that is something that some people do almost every day, depending on their profession. And so by doing this, not only are we training our muscles to improve athletic performance, but if it's part of your job, then this is an exercise you should do almost, you know, quite frequently. Not every day, but try and incorporate something like a shoulder press into your training program. Uh, so, without further ado, let us show you how to do the dumbbell shoulder press. So just watch for 5 to 10 seconds. Again, looking for anything that might stand out to you. And then I'll go through the tips and tricks. Okay. So let's go through the tips and tricks. First of all, nice and simple, we want to maintain that normal spine curvature. And again, this is regardless if you're doing this standing like I am currently or whether you're doing it seated. I've already ex explained about normal spine curvature before, what it is and why it's important when we're doing exercise. So I'm not going to talk about it much here, just making sure that again, we're not arching forward or arching back, especially now that we've got dumbbells or we've got weights added into this. Second tip is keeping the elbows in. Uh, now, as you can see from the video, I'm obvious, as I'm bringing the dumbbells up, I'm obviously not putting my elbows all the way to the side laterally. I'm trying to keep them in as close as possible towards my midline. Okay, and what this is going to do is this is going to help turn your shoulder blades on a little bit more and the muscles that surround it. And so when you're actually doing this exercise, it's going to target those muscles as well. Similar to what I talked about in the description. Last of all, this is sort of regardless if you're seated or standing as well. And this really fits in with maintaining that normal spine curvature. And it's really to squeeze your tummy muscles. And this is going to help keep your upper body uh, upright. So obviously, like I said, when we're maintaining our normal spine curvature, we don't want to bend too forward or arch all the way back. And so what we want to do is if you squeeze your tummy muscles as you're doing this, that way you're going to keep yourself up nice and right, nice and tall. And whilst you're keeping your shoulder blades back, you're going to help maintain that normal spine curvature, keeping those elbows in, and that's really going to benefit you in the long run. You're really going to get the most out of this exercise. So now we've only got one variation again today, and this is really a combination of an exercise. We've done this before. This is the side lunge incorporated with a shoulder press. Now with this one, 
This exercise aims to target balance and control from your lower limb on top of targeting that upper body strength. It's a full body exercise. I wouldn't do this with the same uh, weights, whether it be using dumbbells or barbells that you've uh, done just with a standing lunge because it, this obviously is a lot more balance and control involved and so you might not have that and then this can lead to, you know, you might fall over, you might not do the exercise completely properly. So get a chance to familiarize yourself with the exercise and then build your way up. The main thing I want to discuss here is obviously that you need to remember the tips that we talked about in the side lunge. I'm not going to talk about them here. I'm going to leave the uh, link to the lunges video in the video description. Please take a look. So hopefully you know now how to do a bit of a dumbbell shoulder press as well as a variation. I hope you found this video useful and you're actually able to apply this and incorporate it into your strength and conditioning program. Just don't forget the three key things we talked about in terms of the tips and tricks. So first of all, don't forget that normal spine curvature. Tip number two, don't forget to keep your elbows in. And number three, don't forget to squeeze those tummy muscles. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to hear from you all soon.